when you first start working with paint, it's frustrating. You can't get it to flow right. You put too much, you put too little, you can't get the colors to do what you want. You can't get the brush to be as easy to manipulate as a pen or pencil. But once you work with anything a lot and you start to find not just how to do it, it's not just the skill. I always thought it was like, you know, getting really good practicing, practicing thousands of hours, but it's more so finding the little hacks to do things the way you enjoy that might not be how anybody else does it. Never in a million years did I think I'd be spray painting blocks, drizzling them with latex wall paint, spray painting different angles, and then going back and finding little spots that the spray paint missed, touching them up with watered down acrylic, and just watching the colors blend. And get so excited. It's so pretty. It's like a visual feast. And I don't know if anybody's ever going to appreciate the colors in this block the way I do the way I did because I touched it I got to see every little corner every little crevice maybe someone will find it somewhere and they will maybe someone will throw it out but I got this moment I got to experience this and I'm not I'm only using blue this is my favorite blue it's a uh, so much better than the other blues I you would think it doesn't matter but the flatho whatever language that is but flatho blue is like a has a very touch, tiniest touch of green in it when it's, when it's uh, thinned out. And it's so much brighter and so much prettier than the other blues. But I also have a little bit of red here I got from these shimmery metallic paints. I just figure between red and blue, I'll get any missing colors in there because these blocks are already spray painted like five different colors. So that one's surprisingly fair, fairly... Uh, fairly thin even on the the drizzled side that's the side I usually hit the best but something about blending very watered down paint into the crevices of the grain of wood that's just also incredibly satisfying You got a little bit of that shimmer in there, that little metallic shimmer. And then, because something about these blocks, people overjudge themselves when they make a piece of art, but I'm making thousands of these blocks. So I don't care if any one particular block is doesn't look awesome. It's not my showcase. It's not, it's not a piece that's going to represent me as a single piece. I just want them to look presentable. I just want them to look interesting. I want them to catch people's eye rather than a business card if they're left somewhere. So therefore I'm free. I can do whatever I want. I can have fun. I can't mess it up. If I mess it up, I'll just paint over it. But there's like no fear of mistakes and zero. Even if I make the ugliest block, I'll just splash it with a little more color and say that's that's a funky, cool, weird one. And that's it. And then by mistake, when you make a thousand of anything, just by the sheer... Uh, principle of large numbers, you're going to end up with a few that just blow your mind at how fantastic they are. Sometimes because your skills are getting better and you're learning what you like, and sometimes a lot of times just by accident, something just falls a certain way. You dip your paintbrush in the wrong color by accident, and all of a sudden you see something and you're like, whoa! When you're messing around with this level of volume of pieces, it's just, it's inevitable that you're going to find some things that you never thought of before, that you never thought you'd see, that maybe you never saw anywhere. And that might become something that defines you because nobody else is doing it, because you discovered it by accident. But you'll also slowly really get better at the normal stuff too. And most importantly, you'll just stop stressing and judging yourself. So now the benefit of having the blue and the red and using the same brush because I'm too lazy to change the brush is I'm getting some shimmery purple out now on some of these. 
But see, this is solid yellow. That's a little boring. Let's, you know, spice it up a little. Give it like a little bit of a sunrise blend. What? And then if you too much, you put too much on, you wipe it off. Put Rub it somewhere else. Rub that excess in another spot. 